Welcome back. Now with a look at weather, here's Jessica LaBerge. We should see the sun for the next few days, but it is getting colder. Let's take a look at your five-day weather forecast. Today will be mainly cloudy with a 40% chance of flurries. We'll see a high of 3 and a low of minus 1. Tomorrow we'll have a mix of sun and cloud with a high of 4 and a low of minus 2. The sun will continue into the weekend with some periodic clouds. Saturday we'll see a high of minus 1 and a low of minus 6. Sunday will be slightly colder with a high of minus 2 and a low of minus 7. For back to school on Monday, expect a mix of sun and cloud again with a high of minus 2 and a low of minus 6. The holiday season is underway and there's a chill in the air, so this may be the perfect time to curl up in front of the fireplace. That's all for weather. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jessica. Now turning to international and national news. Canada's ambassador to Kabul, William Crosby, has offered his resignation. This comes in the light of information about to be published by WikiLeaks. Crosby says the documents could damage Canada's relations with President Karzai and the Afghan government. In the documents, Crosby criticizes Karzai's misuse of power and his attempts to rewrite Afghanistan's election laws. The majority owner of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment says they're not discussing a potential sale. After a recent report that Rogers made a bid to buy MLSE, the teachers' pension plan sent a message to the NHL saying no talks have occurred. The teachers' pension plan is Canada's largest equity fund and owns 66% of MLSE Limited. Some people within the industry have expressed concerns that if Rogers takes over, it could spell the end for CBC's Hallmark Sports program, Hockey Night in Canada. Japan and South Korea and the U.S. are meeting in the light of recent shelling of a South Korean island. Hillary Clinton and foreign ministers from Japan and South Korea are expected to discuss a joint response to the bombardment of Yonpyong Island, which left four South Koreans dead. The meeting is scheduled to take place in Washington next Monday. Twas the night before Christmas and how would you feel if your Christmas tree was powered by an eel? The eel powers the lights and ornaments of a two-meter Christmas tree at a Japanese aquarium near Tokyo. The eel's tank is lined with two aluminum panels that gather an electric charge as the eel moves. The aquarium is known for its unusual displays. And now for a look at sports, here's Heather Alford. Now for your sports update. The decision is in and the host announcements have been made. The 2018 FIFA World Cup will be held in Russia. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin was not present in Zurich as he condemned the outrageous campaigning by other bidding nations. And the 2022 World Cup goes to Qatar. The country hopes the World Cup can unify a region plagued by conflict. The decision was announced in Zurich just hours ago by FIFA President Joseph Blatter. The Toronto Raptors can add another victory to their season. They beat the Washington Wizards 127-108 last night. Toronto rookie Ed Davis made his season debut missing after missing a month following knee surgery. DeMar DeRozan led the way for the Raps as he had 20 points on the night, while Andrea Bargnani and Sonny Weems both pitched in with 18. The Raptors will have the night off before hosting Oklahoma City tomorrow night. A big game in the NBA tonight and a much anticipated matchup, LeBron James makes his return to Cleveland. After seven seasons with the Cavaliers, James left the club to join Dwayne Wade in Miami. Tonight's game will be the first time James will play in Cleveland without a Cavs jersey. He is expected to take a lot of heat from his former fans. Tip-off is at 8. In the NHL, the Leafs will take on the Oilers tonight at the ACC. After Tuesday's letdown loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Buds are hoping to snap their three-game three slump. While the Oilers, on the other hand, are killing their Eastern road trip. They're looking for their third straight victory after coming off a huge overtime win against Montreal last night. Tonight's matchup should be a good one between these two young teams, both fighting to get out of the basement. And though the Habs were sorely upset last night, they're hoping the tides will turn. Montreal will travel to New Jersey to take on the Devils tonight. The Habs have not lost two straight games in the past month. And the San Jose Sharks will visit the Ottawa Senators at Scotiabank Place tonight. This marks the return of former Senator, Senator Danny Heatley, who has not been back to Ottawa in over a year. After requesting a trade last year, there's no doubt Heatley's reception will be a cold one in Ottawa. That's all for sports. Now back to Pam and Simon in the studio. Thanks, Heather. Stay tuned for your entertainment highlights with Amy Douglas. 
Coming up in entertainment, Eminem leads in Grammy nominations, and the Queen goes to the movies while Wesley Snipes goes to prison. All that and more after the break. <laughs> 